how is it going, everybody? Um, today's video, I'm going to be kind of going through um, Superior Drummer 3 and the Death and Darkness uh, SDX. What I'm actually going to go through here is just the kit that I built um, for this little track that you heard at the beginning. Um, I'm using a kit from the Darkness um, expand the darkness part of the SDX death and darkness. And all I can really say about SD three is that it's awesome. Uh, I'm really kind of blown away by the amount of power that it has and the flexibility and the things that you can do with it. So I'm just going to go through now. I, it's worth noting here. I have all of my mixing processing going. I'll actually see, solo out the drum bus and I'll bypass all the processing. So you can hear what the kit sounds like totally raw. last beat part. And lastly, like the breakdown at the end. Oh, that's not the breakdown. <laughs> all right, and now I'll kick all the processing back on and I'll let you hear that sounds all together that sounds mean like i i am in love with this uh with superior drummer three and the, this expansion it just sounds so good okay so uh one of my favorite things about it is that you can like stack the drums here like you can see these are all the different samples that i have going at once for the drums for the snare here i've got this one shot this different snare sample and this one down here at the bottom, this is actually from an old uh, Easy X that I have. I didn't realize that I was going to be able to use the old Easy Xs that I used like forever ago uh, as part of Superior Drummer, which is really neat to me. Okay, so here's the whole thing. Then the toms. Kick. Here are the different elements that I have stacked on the kick. Here's the main kick, which is the 16 by 24 DW collectors. And then the one shot. Real clicky metal sounding one shot. And then this kick down here is from the death library or the death part of the death and darkness expansion. All together sounds like that. It's really cool. Loads of symbols. Um, my, my single handed favorite thing about this is the routing. And I'm going to get over to the mixer tab here in a second. The groove with the groove tab, you can pull up uh, different. It, it comes with a few MIDI grooves, and I actually I use the MIDI Remap website to map all of the GGD groove packs that I've bought from them. Um, use that to remap them to the SD3 format, and they translated flawlessly, and it's awesome. But my favorite part is the mixer section. You can see all these different outputs that I've got here, and over here on the left, you've got your channels, and then these are your X channels, like when you add in um drums like for your stacks they pop up over here and then you've got your buses and then your actual output so the way i've got this set up i have all the i have everything sent to to buses inside of the plugin and then i have each bus sent to its own output in my daw you can see like over here this translates to a kick track a snare track Rack toms, floor toms, cymbals, the trash mic, uh, the stereo room, and the room mid, which uh, that is just the snare and kick that I used from uh, the death part of this. That sent to the, It gets sent to its own track, and I set it up as its own room. So I have all my kicks, like the kick in, the kick out mic, and all the extra kicks here. Um, I have all these going to the kick bus, the kick sum here on the bus section, and then the output. And the same thing for the snare, like the snare top, snare bottom, and all the different uh, snares that I layered in all go to the snare sum. And I control the overall level of each sample at the channel level and then send that to my DAW. And then the rack tom, floor tom, cymbal, sum, uh, the trash mic stereo room and the room mid uh, this is kind of like the the nolly approach that i learned uh, from his creative live like he'll 
send like all of his kick mics to a channel, process them there. All of his snare mics to a channel, process them there, and he'll send the toms all to their own channel, all all to a, a channel, and process them, and so on and so forth. And that's kind of why I adopted this approach. It works really well, and it, it'll save you a lot of time. That way, you're not having to individually process the kick in, the kick out, all your samples. You just uh, set the levels to get the sound that you want and then process the, the kick as a whole or the snare as a whole and the toms all together because toms generally take similar processing across the board. Um, I'll split up the rack toms and floor toms into their own tracks, as you can see here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. This is really, it's just a really awesome plugin. The, the level of detail, um, I'm, I'm only really going over, like there's so much to this plugin that I'm just going over the kit that I used. Um, you've also got the death library, which is crazy. Um, but I haven't gotten around to doing anything with this. I just kind of, when I dived into it, I set up a kit that I liked and this is where I ended up with that. And I, I use it in this mix. Uh, and I think it sounds killer. I can't wait to use this on some more projects and some full songs and, uh, some mixes and stuff because the, it's just such a powerful tool and I am really stoked on it. So you all take care. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you're still watching, give me a like and a subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Take care.